In this video, I will show you how to install SQL Server and how to store the data in the database. So in the browser, let's type SQL Server. Let's go to the first link. Then here, let's scroll down and let's install the Express Edition, which is a free version. So let's click on this button and let's save the installer. So I will save it on the desktop. So this is the installer. Let's run it. Then let's click on basic. Let's accept the license. Then install. Now the installation finished successfully after about 8 minutes. So this is the instance name that we can use to connect to the server. And this is an example of the connection string that we can use to connect to the server. Now let's close this window. Let's click on yes. And to check if the server is running or not, we can do a search. So here we can write SQL Server. Then let's click on SQL Server Configuration Manager. Then in this window, let's click on SQL Server Services. So here we can see that the SQL Server is running. And between parentheses, we have the instance name. So if the server is not running, then we can make a right click, then start. Or also we can click on a restart. Let's close this window. So to connect to SQL Server, we have two options. We can either use Visual Studio or also we can install SSMS. So first let's use Visual Studio. So using Visual Studio, we can click on View, then Server Explorer. Then let's click on this button. Let's select Microsoft SQL Server, then continue. Then let's provide the server name. So let's write localhost slash the instance name. So the instance name in our case is SQL Express. So here we can write either localhost or we can write dot. Then let's select Windows Authentication. Let's trust the server certificate. And to find the available databases, we can click on this button. So here we can see that we have these databases. But I want to create a new database. So here let's create a new database and let's call it DB1 for example. Then let's click on OK. So this database does not exist and I want to create it. So let's click on Yes. And now we have this new connection. Let's expand it. Let's expand tables. And for the moment, we don't have any table. So to create a new table, we can use an SQL query. So here we can make a right click. The new query. Then let's write the SQL queries that allow us to create a new table and to fill it. So we can use these two queries. The first query allows us to create the client's table. And then the second query allows us to fill the table with three rows. So to execute these two queries, we can use this button. And here we can see that three rows have been inserted. Let's refresh the connection. And now we can see that we have the client's table. So to see the data of this table, we can make a right click. Then show table data. And you can see that we have these three rows. We can also connect to SQL Server using SSMS. So first we need to install SSMS. Let's go to the browser. And here let's type SSMS. Let's go to the first link. Let's scroll down. And let's click on this link. Let's save the installer. I will save it on the desktop. So here we can see that the size of this installer is very important. So we need to wait till the end of the download. Now the installer is downloaded successfully. So this is the installer of SSMS. Let's run it. Then let's click on install.
Now the installation finished successfully, so let's click on close. And to run SSMS, let's do a search. And here let's type SSMS. Then let's run this application. Then let's connect using Windows Authentication. So let's click on connect. But we obtain this error. So to fix it, we need to trust the server certificate. So let's click on options. And let's select trust server certificate. Let's click on connect. So now we are connected to the server. Let's see the available databases. And we have this database that we already created. Let's expand it. Let's expand tables. And you can see that we have this table. So to see the data of this table, we can make a right click. And let's select this option. And here we have the table data. Now to create a new database, we can make a right click on databases. Then new database. So let's create a new database called DB2, for example. Then OK. And now we can see that we have this new database. So to create a new table, we can make a right click. Then new query. Then let's write the SQL queries that allow us to create a table and to fill it. So we can use the same queries as before. So we will create a new table called clients and we will fill it using this data. So to execute these queries, we can use this button. And here we can see that three rows have been inserted. Let's close this page. So let's hide the content of the first database and let's expand the second one. Let's expand tables. And we can see that we have this new table. So to see the data of this table, we can make a right click and let's select this option. So here we can see that we have three rows.